should the church be celebrating or lamenting the Reformation? Do Protestants today need to repent the sins of their Reformation forefathers? It may be surprising to ask such questions on the eve of the 500th anniversary of the Reformation, but there have been several recent studies that charge the Reformation with being responsible for much of what is wrong with the modern world. In particular, critics accuse the Reformation of begetting secularism, skepticism, and schism. All felony charges, by the way. The culprit is not the Reformer's high view of Scripture, but rather sola scriptura, Scripture alone, combined with Luther's idea that every believer has the right and responsibility to read the Bible for him or herself. This idea has come under strenuous attack, including by uh, Roman Catholic apologists, one of whom says, if Protestantism is true, then we're stuck with infallible Bible and fallible interpreters. This is the problem my book addresses. I ask, does the Reformation, and Sola Scriptura in particular, loose interpretive anarchy, which is to say doctrinal chaos, upon the world? Alistair McGrath, a friend of the Reformation, calls Sola Scriptura Christianity's dangerous idea. And the concern is that Sola Scriptura makes every individual into a little pope. And the problem uh, happens when these little popes disagree about what the Bible means. What do you do when two or three or more popes disagree about what Scripture says? In short, the main problem my book addresses is whether the Reformation slogan, Scripture alone, generates doctrinal chaos rather than consensus. And the problem is real. It's indispensable that early Protestants resolve their most intractable interpretive disagreements, uh, but uh, they weren't able to, say, even over the Lord's Supper, where they're supposed to come together. Uh, and how did they resolve those disagreements? Not by reaching a common mind, but rather by starting new churches, divisions. The problem is real.